Hi, my name's Justin, and this is my miniature schnauzer, Reader. I think when it comes to how I describe my dog to, to other, the relationship with my, that I have with my dog to others, it's kind of like a roommate who likes to hang out on occasion when she feels like it. Um, she's definitely on the independent side, but as you can see, it's like kind of warm and cuddly when, when she's up for it, but otherwise we'll, we'll be, uh, be off on our own as she sees fit. I think in a lot of ways my dog's personality mirrors my own in the sense that when she gets to know someone she can be a little bit standoffish till she knows kind of what she's up against, but she's also you know, very affectionate, very caring and loving and uh, yeah, just fun to be around. Um, she's also not very dog-like in a lot of ways. Um, I keep it, it's a bit of a running joke with friends of mine and I that she's kind of part dog, part cat, part human. So when it came to picking Reader, um, I'd actually had a schnauzer prior uh, with, a, with an ex-partner of mine and um, as she was getting older, we realized it was time to get another dog in the house. Um, I'd, when I first met a schnauzer, I immediately bonded with the dog breed. They're, they're just so affectionate and so, so well behaved and really chill. Um, it just made sense uh, and then finding her, I always knew that I wasn't going to be able to handle having a puppy and I reached out to a breeder that was in uh, in the outskirts of Vancouver in British Columbia and they actually had her and was raising were raising her as a show dog but by three years old they realized she didn't really have the temperament for it um, which I can kind of see now that I've gotten to know her over the years but yeah so got her when she was three and it's now she's 12 so yeah it's been a long run. I, I mean, there's so many things that I love about the miniature Schnauzer breed. Um, from the, the temperament, um, like just, you know, they're, they're not super high energy, but they still aren't lethargic either. Um, they're very well behaved. Um, they handle other dogs well. And also the fact that they're hypoallergenic is a really big, uh, a really big plus, because obviously, you know, some people deal with allergies. I, I don't, but I've known a lot of people that do. Um, so that's, that's a big difference as well. She eats about a third of a cup of kibble in the morning and another third of a cup at the uh, at the end of the day, um, which I've kind of I've kind of alternated back and forth between that and about a half a cup. But I find on a half a cup, if she's not particularly active, she starts getting a little bit heavier. Thankfully, miniature schnauzers don't really shed a whole lot. Um, so grooming, I mean, she does need she does need brushing every now and again, just on account of you can see like the, the skirt and the legs can be can be pretty fluffy. Um, and then she goes into a, she goes in for a professional grooming every probably six weeks, give or take. Um, so it's a, it's a bit of work, but it's not that bad. Um, miniature schnauzers generally do okay as far as health goes. Um, they have been known to deal with pancreatitis, which unfortunately she has little flare-ups every now and again. So one thing I've been doing with her for years now is. Um, she doesn't get any kind of other treats other than her own dog food. Um, on rare occasion, like a tiny piece of carrot's okay, um, or like a tiny, tiny bite of apple, but just if she gets into something when she's out on a walk, it can turn into an upset tummy for sometimes a couple of days or a few days. Um, but otherwise, from, uh, from a health standpoint, um, yeah, really, really easy, really problem free. When, when it comes to meeting other people and other dogs, um, reader, she does really well. Um, she, when someone walks in the door, she's generally standoffish in the sense that she'll, she'll go and hide in the other room or she'll, she'll make a bit of a grumbling noise. She doesn't, she doesn't bark or freak out or anything like that, which is great. Um, and then as the people are around longer, she tends to settle in and, uh, and is, is fairly comfortable. Um, other dogs, other dogs, it's hit and miss. It's never aggressive, which is good, um, but it's similar. Like she'll sometimes shy away and you know go to the other side of the sidewalk to go around them. Other times she's super engaged and wants to wants to play around with them. So I I don't really know what to expect, but thankfully it's never it's never a problem. When I'm not around, this dog sleeps and sleeps and sleeps. Um, otherwise, if she gets bored and I forget to close the bathroom door, she will sneak in and pull tissues out of the garbage, which is her other little favorite thing to do. But uh, thankfully I've learned to keep that, <laughs> keep that out of reach for her. Um, but yeah, no, very, very lethargic when there's nothing going on around the house.